Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. that time again ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome to another fun filled sunday um it's wonderful to be here with you again and um i have gotten a few new toys a few new sound toys to be specific uh the tremolator and the decapitator which i've used to great effect on the new composition that we've been working on um on the kick drum and the bass part uh, the kick drum should be starting right now. And I have this idea for a guitar part, so I wanted to go ahead and have Reactor running on the guitar channels, because what I want to do is I want to set up a... Uh, I want to set up either uh, one clean channel and one reactor channel or two reactor channels. Not sure yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And I'm also just going to print the uh, result of this right now uh, during the show. So I have the composition running and I have kind of some effects and some build up going uh, that I have running over some time. And I'm just going to kind of record this idea that I have for a guitar part. But first, I'm going to put something together for a effect for the guitar. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get into blocks and start putting something together. I'm actually going to use something within the user community. Let's take a look at what we have in the Euro React. Actually, what I need to do first is open up a new blocks template. And then we're gonna dive into the user community here. And let's see. I really just need <clears throat> I mean having the utility stereo thing would be kind of cool. But I really just need that. I don't need much else. Now, let's get into effects. That's what we want. Let's see what this bit crusher kind of does. And maybe this clipper. See we have so far. It's gonna help if I connect the output.
as you can see there's quite a few differences uh because all i'm doing is just playing an open c note and just kind of flipping through the type here on the bit crusher and there are some different tones that this thing can do i mean just like this and thing i may want to stay away from it but this int is a little interesting so here we go Float, smooth between integer bit crushing, int, integer bit crushing, bitwise, and operation. I don't know, but that and is like, I just want to, I kind of want to stay away from that. That's crazy. Look at this toy. That's a little nuts, too. Yeah, the toy and the and are nuts, but maybe the end. What do we got here? kind of hard to know what the clipper does uh, just by itself so I wonder let's just kind of bypass the bit crusher for just a sec and just kind of mess with the clipper and see what we got Nothing special in terms of distortion. I mean, that was maybe a little something. Selects a level at which the signal will be clipped. Oh, okay. So it, this kind of, we need to kind of really mess with this and get the level up there to where it's going to actually affect it. But this kind of does some like compression like clipping, uh, depending on, um, you know, the level of, I guess, the signal coming in. I'm actually gonna not use that for the time being. I really do like the bit crusher, so I'm gonna keep that for the moment. And what do we have on this? Let's see. What's this free verb? I like it. All right. Turn the mics up just a touch. Yeah, even that. Um, it's just a touch more level. But it's all good. We can always balance it later. Um, so that's something that's not bad on the left. So I guess we call this the left side. And then what have we got on the right side? What you got? So, right now, we got to nada. So, let's go into edit. Let's get back into, I was really digging, just kind of just flipping through the user community stuff. I mean, I just, there's so much, you know, so much to, to really dig, in, dig into from the wonderful people here. We can just keep keep kind of flipping through some of this stuff in the Euro React folder for now. Let's find something that maybe. What's this? Let's see. What was that? That was like a spectral compressor. What's that? Um, wave 
table distortion, that does sound enticing. Let's just dig in. I mean, I kind of, my inclination is to kind of just do something that's, you know. Something that's not as crazy. Oh, but whatever that is, is weird. Oh, I love the way that fades out. If you can hear that. And I can tell, I can already tell that the room mic, which is my good friend here, the vocal mic, is gonna have to come down during the bits where I'm actually playing so that you just hear the reactor tone. Uh, as cool as that would be to mix it in. Maybe I'll mix it in really deep where you can't really hear it. But right now, you know, if you were listening to this live, this is really hard to get uh, to get across, you know, how this sounds. I mean, I can hear it because I'm listening for it. But to hear it over the room mic, it's, uh, it's pretty hard. I kind of just like that, just like it is. Selects the currently active table. Resonant. Let's, I mean, there's, you know, why break it? This is cool as hell. I mean, let's just do it. Now, I'm actually going to put a little bit of modulation before. Before the distortion, because I'm nuts like that. come up. This other one's gonna have to come down. Let's get it to a reasonable level. I mean, that's just weird as hell. And I think, I think this, this other one, my inclination is I want to tame it. I want to just tame it just a little bit. So, let's see. That's a good way to tame it. It's kind of tame. But I still, I just want some sort of filter on this side.
let's see. I think. I still want this side to be a little more tame. So again, it needs some kind of filter. Let's see what we got. not going to do it. It was this side. Anyway, it wasn't that side. Just to get us going, we're gonna go with a filter from a monarch. You can never go wrong with this monarch filter. So yeah, since we spent a little bit of time setting up, actual recording. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to set up and or you gotta deal with stuff. It happens. But now comes the actual recording process. So it's time to crank it on the HUD and the headphones a little bit and face the music, as they say.
So now it's going to start back up and we're going to get, you know, we may have what we need just right there, but we're just going to get a little more of that and off we go. Something like that. I think right there, boys and girls, we have what we need. And I think the feel of the composition is is already here within the automation. So, um, you know, this will more or less be probably where we compose uh, the majority of the rest of it. I could even bounce uh, this part down and then this part down, just kind of use those as the stems for the next thing. Because uh, I think there's one more next thing, and I think you might be done with this. Um, but not bad. 
not bad at all for a Sunday. Until next time. Thank you.